Hello everyone from the Unavetch team. Welcome to today's webinar. AutoCAD Civil 3D and Urbano Visio Streamline Pipe Network Design. Are you stuck with inefficient workflows, data clutter, and lack of insight while working with AutoCAD Civil 3D gravitational pipe networks? Join this webinar to learn how Urbano Visio can streamline and empower your workflow with revolutionary features. Our webinar presenter, Michael Deitch, is the Business Developer, Development Manager for Urbano Software at Studio Rs. Michael has held numerous webinars on Urbano best practice for increases, increasing productivity, optimizing workflows, and adding value to storm and sanitary sewage design. But before we get going, let me tell you a little bit about Novage and what we do. Novage is one of the largest online stores for software design, design software, and we offer a huge assortment of software solutions that cater to virtually every designer's needs. And this is where you can find um, Urbano Visio. Uh, for more daily software news and limited time promotions, pay a visit to the Novage blog and follow us on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Coming up next week, manage massive point cloud, cloud data with Vision LiDAR. Last but not least, today's webinar is free and is being recorded live. So if you want to rewatch this or another webinar in our, in our collection, just head on over to Novage's YouTube and Vimeo channels. Now I'm going to pass the screen to Michael so he can show you firsthand all these great new features of Urbano Visio. Take it away, Michael. Okay, Barbara, thank you very much. Uh, good day to all. Uh, I'm uh, now going to show you a little bit uh, about our software. So first, uh, just a short PowerPoint and then we'll go live uh, into the software. So. Um, uh, Studio Ars is a software development company uh, for the past 25 years and <clears throat> we develop uh, several uh, software products all under the Urbano brand. Um, we are based in Europe but uh, as you can see we are quite uh, international. We have more than 20 partners uh, similar to Novage. Uh, so, and we sell all around the world and uh, on occasion we also do some uh, custom services for key accounts. Um, so, uh, everybody is, these days is talking about BIM. Uh, so, what, what in fact is BIM for infrastructure pipe design? Uh, well, it's data, lots and lots of data. So, <laughs> you have uh, data coming from surveyors, from uh, GIS systems, you have a lot of data you will be producing as a designer, calculating, designing, and uh, then you need to share all this data with other stakeholders and so on. Uh, somewhere along the line you need to manage all of this data. You need to edit, update, uh, analyze. Uh, and so, uh, we have been uh, thinking about how to improve this data management uh, situation with, uh, with Civil 3D. And we come up with uh, one solution and it's called Urbano Visio and it's an add-in for AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, so, what is Urbano Visio? It's a smart data management uh, tool for gravitational pipe net networks meaning uh, storm and sanitary sewage. Um, and you can also say it's a smart uh, data grid. So it looks a little bit like the pipe vistas uh, from Civil 3D, except it has lots and lots of additional features. Uh, and uh, some of these uh, features are, for example, the possibility to create custom data groups uh, then you can select pipes and uh, structures directly from the drawing uh, to see the, the data behind it. Uh, then you can visualize your data. If you click uh, in, the, in, the, in the data grid, you will see 
the actual structure of pipe in the drawing. So it's easy to find something uh, if your if your design is uh, very cluttered with a lot of pipe networks going in all directions. And of course, there is improved editing and also some possibilities for data tables and uh, export to Excel and many other features. So who is this for? It's uh, of course for civil 3D users and uh, it's for engineers, for CAD and BIM managers, drafters, technicians, so for anybody actually that's uh, doing uh, gravitational pipe design or, or managing designs, uh, it can be a good tool. And uh, one of the, you could say, most important features is it's part of the Autodesk workflow, okay? So it's not a replacement, it's an, it's an improvement, it's an update. Uh, so uh, you will continue with your uh, site design and your BIM projects uh, in a very similar way, but if you use this tool, you will get increased productivity on, on, on certain uh, on certain parts of your projects, and also you will get, you will get some uh, unique uh, features, uh, you know, which will uh, allow you for for better quality or uh, better uh, f following some standards and so on. So uh, this is now. Uh, I hope you see my screen. Uh, we are now inside of uh, Civil 3D. And I have here just a simple uh, design made with Civil 3D, okay? So this uh, plan and also a few profiles uh, all made with, uh, with Civil 3D. Uh, so uh, if this doesn't look immediately familiar, you, you know that Civil 3D is quite flexible. You can do uh, a lot of different things with it. So uh, this is uh, one. Uh, typical design. Okay, where do where, where do you find uh, Urbano Visio? You just head on to the Add-ins tab uh, once you install it, and there you have the uh, Urbano Visio icon. You can also directly go to the home page, the help files, and also a handy thing is uh, the license manager. Uh, and uh, w which will give you the status of your license, for example, if it's a trial license or a commercial license and so on. Uh, but uh, the important thing here is that actually uh, you can directly request a trial uh, from this uh, license manager. So, so it's, it's really a, quite a simple process. You download the software, you install it, and you can go you, you know, directly here and uh, request a trial. Of course, you can also contact us by any any of our contacts. Okay, uh, so uh, basically, it's a palette window like any other, uh, you know, palette window in Civil 3D. It's uh, this architecture is quite similar and should be familiar. And um, okay, I have. Uh, in this design, I have uh, two pipe networks. I have uh, a sanitary network and, a, and and I have a storm network. So it's uh, as I said, a, a simple, simple uh, design. If I go over to my Urbano Visio uh, data grid, uh, you can also see I have the same two uh, pipe networks uh, in here. And if, if I want to switch from one to the other, it's, uh, you know, I only need to select and uh, the, whole, uh, the whole data grid will update uh, immediately. So, uh, one of the first things uh, which is uh, a bit special about this, uh, about this data grid is that we have custom data groups. So, uh, you are not restricted to having all the data at once and then, you know, deselecting what you don't want to see. Instead, uh, you can simply create a data group uh, which features only the data you are currently uh, working on or, or want to see or make a, or make a, a report, for example. 
and uh, you will get just this data. So it can be a, it can be a quite a large group, it can be a small group like, uh, like this one. Uh, so it's completely up to you and uh, it's also, uh, th there's no limits. So you can have uh, uh, three groups, you can have 20 or 200. Um, and also, uh, as I mentioned, CAD managers, uh, these, um, uh, these data groups, we call them configurations, uh, they are stored in an XML file, so if you are working actually in a, in a larger company, you can create uh, your um, default standard configurations uh, on, on one PC and then just copy-paste this XML file and everybody will have the same uh, set of uh, configurations. Okay, uh, so how do you create, uh, how do you start, how do you create uh, this custom group? Uh, so I will show you just uh, how to do it for pipes. Okay, so you start by giving some name and then you can choose uh, which data to use. So uh, first of all you will notice we, we have grouped uh, all the civil 3D data into, into several groups uh, in order to be easier to find, okay? And once you find something, it's enough just to highlight and uh, click this button to have it on the, on the, on the right side. Uh, you can also just double click uh, right here in, in, in this list. Okay, so uh, I will just uh, use a couple more. All right, so this is this is like my quite uh, simple sh short group which I want to create. Um, you can play a little bit with these features. For example, you don't have to, to use the default names from Civil 3D. You can make your own names, for, you know, abbreviations, for example, like this. Uh, also, uh, you can change the the way it looks, so, so you can rearrange uh, these items, move them in the table as, as you like. Also, there is a possibility to um, uh, recalculate uh, the values on the fly. If, if you need some, if you need some re recalculation done, um, uh, for example, uh, this inner diameter, we can uh, multiply by by 1000 to to see it in uh, in millimeters so th this this example is a metric project but it's uh, it doesn't matter it works exactly the same also uh, with uh, IP projects so okay and you can also use prefixes and suffixes to 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 change the way uh, things look okay and you just uh, select this group and uh, you get the data in the table okay so just these five uh, just these five uh, data uh, data groups uh, data which i which i selected uh, and if you if you want to see something else is again it's very simple you just switch uh, directly here from this uh, drop down list and as I said, you can create as many groups as, as you want and you can edit them later on and delete and create new ones and so on and so on. Okay, uh, so uh, the next thing which is uh, kind of special is the various uh, element selection methods. Uh, so uh, this is a little bit of a a different uh, logic uh, maybe uh, than is uh, usual with Civil 3D. So uh, with Civil 3D is usually each, uh, each function has its own uh, data selection method. Uh, here, here we have, you know, several various, various options and you can choose the one which fits you, you know, the situation uh, the best. So of course there's the default uh, select all. Uh, which selects the, the, the whole network. Uh, then you have a, a simple CAD selection, 
not you can you know do like this and get uh, get your data uh, but then there's a little improvements for example you can quite easily go and select individual pipes and uh, these pipes can be connected they can be unconnected it, it doesn't matter um, also we can do the same uh, that we can do with pipes we can do also with structures so I can just go in and, and select any number of uh, structures I want to look and uh, just look no just select them and just look at their data um, another thing we can uh, do is uh, select uh, elements by branches so as you can see these uh, these branches um, represent a, a sequence uh, from start to to, uh, to an intersection or between uh, two intersections and uh, you don't really have to be afraid they are created automatically so there's there's nothing uh, you you need to worry about uh, so they just they are just there uh, also uh, you can use an element sequence so it, it can be really anything anything you want uh, very long very short uh, it's as 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 fits your need currently and last but not least you can select pipes and structures directly from profiles so if you already have some profiles drawn you just mouse over them and you can select them and you will get the elements the pipes and the structures which are present in in these profiles okay and when you are <coughs> doing all this uh, selecting uh, you you also have a little bit of help uh, below this uh, data grid so it says he has selected one from 14 uh, and also on the right side you you get the total size of of your network so in this case it's 167 pipes or 69 structures so it's this one is not so big uh, but it it helps when you make some uh, some uh, advanced selection methods, which uh, I will show later on. Okay, so uh, I think you already noticed that uh, when I'm moving through this data grid, when I'm looking at certain at a certain number at a certain value. Uh, immediately I get also a uh, highlight in the in the in the drawing so this is a, a quite nice feature which means uh, basically wh whatever I do wherever I click uh, I will I will not uh, I will not get lost I will I, I always know exactly if I'm looking at a certain number I always know uh, or a certain name or any other kind of data I can immediately visualize pinpoint in the in the drawing okay this is this certain type or, or this certain structure and there's something I need to do with it uh, you know change the name or change the type or, or something else also this works with multi-select so if I you know just uh, multi-select uh, several rows all of them will highlight immediately and the interesting thing is if I zoom out a little bit um, you will see that also in the profiles you will immediately see this uh, this uh, visual representation of course the profile must be already uh, drawn okay so if you have a profile you will see immediately this element in the plan and in in the profile view and of course if I select multiple things uh, you will get multiple uh, highlights in the profile and in the plan view okay and uh, also uh, one little thing about this highlighting um, we got 
a few settings here and if I don't like green for example I can choose uh, yellow and so the next time uh, I do some selecting it will just change the color so it's quite easy to to customize um, and also while I'm moving uh, around this uh, uh, this uh, grid uh, I can use uh, you know some keyboard shortcut keys home and uh, control home control and you know just to go to the first to the end uh, and and uh, so on uh, I can also manually uh, do some selection with the mouse um, and also as usual uh, if I click on the top left uh, cell I will select everything the whole data grid okay um, now uh, what about zooming of course I can also zoom in so if I want I can zoom in to the plan view or, or to the profile view and so again I click anywhere in this in this data grid immediately I can zoom in I can also use these tools uh, if you know if they're more convenient and uh, again if I do some multi selection I can again quite easily zoom in to the profile view and to the plan view uh, and also we have an auto zoom feature meaning uh, wherever I click in the data grid I will automatically zoom in uh, to the plan view or if I want I can automatically zoom in to the profile view and of course this works with multi-select as well uh, and uh, for this uh, zoom feature I also can change the, the scale quite uh, quite easily this is again uh, something that's not really possible with the pipe vista with the default pipe vista from civil 3d so I just uh, change the change the scale and now when I click on on you know on zoom in uh, I am you know further away so it's uh, quite simple to control actually and you find your perfect zoom level and set it up and use it okay so uh, we can also do some serious stuff uh, uh, like uh, like editing so I will just uh, switch over to um, structures and uh, let me go here um, so one of the one of the uh, most uh, let's say uh, important uh, jobs for every designer is uh, naming structures, naming pipes, naming things basically. And um, so Civil uh, 3D does it a little bit maybe difficult. Uh, usually you have to go structure by structure to rename something. Um, especially if you want something special but uh, we try to make it as simple as possible so I just select in the data grid the structures I want to uh, whose names I want to change I click on editing and I can just uh, uh, type in a new name uh, we also have some special characters I'm using uh, this code for counter and uh, you can set up uh, you can set up this counter in in you know in different uh, ways uh, to work in different ways so I just keep it quite simple and uh, here in the table below you see the old name and the new name and I'm quite happy with this new name and because Civil 3D is a dynamic software and because Urbano Visio actually does everything it does by using Civil 3D functions and objects uh, you can see that changing the name with Urbano Visio actually changes the label of Civil 3D uh, because this this name is now changed for Civil 3D um, and Civil 3D automatically updates all of all of the information on in, in all places of course 
so I can do the I can do the same thing for uh, for for example if I want to change the structure type. So I just uh, select the structures I want to to change. I go into the part list. So my part list is quite small, but still. And I just select a new uh, a new type of uh, structure, and I just change it. So you can see I used to have rectangular, now I have uh, cylindrical. So it's uh, uh, very, very uh, easy to do. And uh, also, okay, let's go to the profile. Um, I can also edit uh, some other things. For example, if I have some depth, if I want to, 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 change, this, uh, to change this value, this is now the, let's say, the default screen for all numbers. So if I want to change it, I just uh, type in uh, a new value and um, as I said, Civil 3D is a dynamic software. Whenever I change something with Visio, Civil 3D will automatically update everything and so the profile uh, is automatically updated. Okay. Now, we can do similar things for pipes as well. Uh, so, let's go, uh, let's go here into the, into, into this uh, group for pipes. And uh, again, uh, a common thing which is uh, important to people is the ability to change uh, pipe names. Um, so again, we, we can do it quite simply. You just select the pipes you want to change and uh, you write uh, the new value. And this time I'm going to use uh, the other uh, uh, special characters. So I'll use the start node name and the ending node name. And once again, you can see the old name on the left and the new name on the right. I'll press OK, and when I zoom in, you can see that the pipe name is now changed to, to reflect the names of the starting and of the ending structures. Okay, so again, it's, uh, it's something uh, that's built in and quite simple to, quite simple to use. Uh, I can show you also another thing which is often uh, very important and that is to change the diameters of, of pipes. For example, if I want to you know, select these four pipes and change their diameter, uh, it's quite simple. I just go again into the part list which opens automatically as I click on edit. So whenever I'm, I'm on the pipe diameter or, the, or you know, some other uh, value which requires the part list, the part list will automatically open on editing and uh, I just select a, a different pipe and again uh, you can see from the label this, uh, this pipe diameter now changed throughout Civil 3D. Uh, the labels updated, Urbano Visio shows a new value, that's it. So you just uh, changed the diameters of, of four pipes with just a couple of clicks. Um, you can just as easily, uh, you know, change the diameters for 20 pipes. So you just go in, say, select column, edit value, you know, go into my part list, select, uh, select the pipe, press OK, and, um, and that's it. Uh, so all of these diameters are now changed. So it's uh, really quite simple and, and quite fast to do. Uh, and these are just a few examples. So, uh, uh, so basically you can, use, uh, you can use this same uh, procedure with any of the data uh, that you have in Civil 3D. And uh, the special thing uh, about um, Urbano Visio, which, which I can show a little bit uh, here, is uh, that we really have all the data 
present in Civil 3D on in one place. So the general properties, the you know invert and slope, for example, geometry, length, and the hydraulic data and the part list data, and uh, including your custom uh, custom part list data, and we can also read expressions. Uh, pipe label, uh, you know, label expressions, and we can also read, uh, uh, you know, m uh, object data from Map 3D. Uh, so it's really uh, one uh, one uh, place where you can find all the data that's that's uh, important uh, for your for your pipe design in Civil 3D, and you also access all the data in the same way. So. There's no difficult, you know, workflows to 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 learn. Okay, uh, another feature which uh, which I want to show you is uh, working with this uh, custom data. So, um, so a lot of uh, people um, create custom data in their part list, and uh, you know because they need certain additional uh, information which is not provided by by default or is maybe special to a project and uh, we created also in in our part list uh, a couple of uh, custom data and i'm going to add this custom data just to this uh, to this configuration uh, i created today okay and uh, so Right now, all of this data is undefined, so it only exists in the part list, but it's it's completely undefined. Uh, and so, how can I quickly enter this data? How can I quickly input? Well, it's quite simple. Again, I select from the grid. I go to Edit uh, Value, and I just type Existing, for example existing so the category is existing and the street uh, let's call it main street okay uh, and that's it so if and you can do this uh, you know uh, with other types of data as well so uh, again it's uh, if you need to input a lot of data uh, for your uh, into your design uh, especially if it's custom data, so this is a quite uh, simple way to do it. And uh, but we have a little bit more uh, with this, so um, we can also uh, look at this data in in a table. And what's uh, special about this table? Is that this is actually uh, this is actually uh, your standard AutoCAD table? So uh, in Civil 3D, you basically have two options. You can use the built-in Civil 3D tables, uh, which display all of your data from from Civil 3D, so for pipes and structures and everything. Uh, but uh, you don't have um, uh, many um, options regarding designing uh, these uh, these tables or you know uh, making some changes. On the other hand, you can use AutoCAD tables, but uh, you cannot display Civil 3D data within AutoCAD tables. Well, with Urbano Visio, you get uh, the best of both worlds. So uh, you can create AutoCAD tables, which, as you can see. Uh, respond to the to the standard uh, AutoCAD uh, uh, AutoCAD commands, um, and uh, you can you know uh, edit uh, edit this uh, edit this uh, table you know make some changes uh, any way you want. So for example, I just quickly added another row and uh, made a, a sum of this column. Uh, so it's just one quick example of something you can do. You can do a lot um, more, of course. Uh, but the interesting thing is uh, you get all your Civil 3D data, and 
you also get the you know the special data from the from the part list. So the one I just uh, I just uh, created uh, a short while ago, and. Uh, if I want to make some changes to this uh, to this uh, custom data, to this custom part list data, I can, of course. Uh, so again, I'm just going to editing, and as you can see, the data changed within Visio. It changed in the labels, which means it changed for Civil 3D, and also the data updated in this uh, AutoCAD table I made uh, just a minute ago. Uh, and okay, this is uh, something that you can switch on or off. Okay, in in some situations maybe this automatic update is is not convenient, uh, so you can just switch it off uh, if you want. Okay, um, so again, it's quite simple to 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 control, um, and uh, you know the default the default option is that automatic update is on. Uh, but uh, also, this table will automatically update if I do some editing uh, with Civil 3D. For example, if I grab this pipe and do a silly thing like this, make it a lot uh, longer. So if you remember, it was 28, now it's 51, and also this sum updated uh, automatically. So we can again you know, go back, uh, you know, make it uh, shorter again, go back to the table, you can see the value has changed, the sum has changed, so the behavior is dynamic, this is the, the, the main idea, it responds to changes within Visio, it responds to changes uh, made directly with Civil 3D, uh, so you can really uh, use this uh, you know these tables to improve uh, to improve your design. Uh, okay, um, and uh, last but not least, we can also select the whole uh, data grid I have currently and click on copy. And if I go to my to my workspace, okay, I just paste and uh, I get this data inside of Excel. Uh, so really uh, it's quite quite simple to get any kind of information out, you know, from Visio to Excel and then from Excel you can do whatever you want, you can calculate, you can copy into some report, create some report, do whatever you want. And, and this is, of course, uh, you know, once you, now when you connect the dots, for example, if I, I can change my configuration to hydraulics, I can select a completely different, uh, you know, element sequence. Uh, I can, you know, select the table, just press copy, go back to Excel, and, uh, and paste it inside, and I get all of this, uh, all of this information. Uh, and this means, you know, I can just export all of the data quickly uh, without much hassle. And again, uh, if you create different uh, configurations, different data groups, uh, you can create configurations for reports, which you require in reports. So you can have configurations which you use while you are designing, you can uh, create configurations which are handy uh, when you need to export data to, to create uh, to create reports. So it's uh, quite flexible and you use it as, as, as you need. Okay, and uh, the last thing uh, I want to show you is, let's say, a bit of an advanced feature. Uh, but nevertheless, I will just uh, show it so, so you, you have some uh, basic uh, information about this as well. Um, so, um, we have here on the right, we have filters, data filters. So, again, 
another possibility to to uh, you know really uh, just display the data which is relevant to you at the moment at the current moment so the the current you know the the relevant data changes it changes all the all throughout the design so what's relevant at the beginning may not be relevant at the end and um, this is yet another way uh, for you to to really manage this system and and uh, control you know uh, what 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 data you are looking at uh, what data you are working on and and so on okay let's call it knowledge filter and uh, so i will create a just a, a, a very very uh, basic filter so I will say uh, for the structures I would like to know all the structures which are greater than 5 so higher basically higher than 5 okay it's quite simple and I say okay and I just have to click here on filters to apply this filter and if I click here I will see all the structures which comply but uh, this is only for this element sequence if I want to see the whole project I will just select all the filter is applied and I select all all of the data grid and now I actually see throughout the whole project only the structures with the height greater than than five okay and I see it uh, in plan view and I also see it in profile view so we have this multiple highlighting included and of course uh, everything I show uh, I show you at the beginning is, is uh, you know still still true if I do some multi-select I, I can see my group uh, growing slowly uh, so again uh, I, I will not get lost I, I have at all times I have this uh, visual confirmation that something is changed um, can you create something uh, a little bit more complex well of course uh, you can go inside uh, and for example uh, create a new one let's call it knowledge filter number two and again uh, let's say using uh, using height as a as a reference I can say okay I want uh, all the structures with the height that is greater or equal than five um, and also smaller than six okay if I want to just have the structures between with height between five and five and six okay and and now my group is smaller okay it says 15 structures if I go to the default filter I get 19 structures okay so again uh, uh, it works very fast it's it's you know very very easy to use uh, and again it all depends on the selection which which I'm looking at so if I select a different uh, data set I will uh, you know of course get uh, a, a, a different uh, a different result so in this case I only get 10, 10 structures uh, so um, basically you are uh, you are bound by your, your imagination how, how, how to how to apply these filters uh, again uh, if I just uh, if I just uh, go inside uh, you have all the data that's available to you in Civil 3D. Okay, all the data from the part list, uh, all hydraulic data, geometry data, some general properties, everything, everything you have in Civil 3D is inside, and and uh, you can use it. So it's the same. Uh, it's the same as while creating the configurations. The same rules apply to the filters, and. Uh, for the CAD managers present, uh, yes, the filters are also an XML file. So if you want to create your standard filters for 
for your for your company, uh, then you can create them in one XML file and then just copy paste to everybody, and everybody will be using uh, the same thing. Uh, so, and that's that's uh, quite uh, quite handy again. Uh, okay. Uh, Question time. More or less, yes. Yes. More or less. Uh, more or less. That's everything for me. I just wanted to to finish uh, so no more live uh, just uh, one second okay licensing and prices so these are fixed term licenses during the while the license is valid uh, all updates are free civil 3d 2014 to 2017 supported so I hope you have a version that uh, that is supported it, it shouldn't be a problem uh, the basic price is 150 US per year and uh, we also have for big companies there is something called a volume license which is then a, a little bit flexible um, flexible conditions and you know things can be changed adapted and so on but we do require the company to have a CAD manager uh, on board who will who will manage all this and um, last but not least uh, we make a lot of different software for AutoCAD, for Civil 3D, for Navisworks. So we are bu we are busy making the next big thing. And uh, if you have any ideas, uh, you need some features, you like something, but you would like to change something else, uh, let us know. And uh, we are glad to hear from you. And uh, thank you very much uh, for for your time. Uh, you have my contacts if you need to ask me anything. Uh, propose anything, uh, you know, I, I, I will be glad to, to hear from you. Of course, uh, everything related to buying, uh, you can uh, you can solve with Novage, of course. Great, so, thank you, Michal. Okay. We have a couple of questions for you. Is there any way to test the applicability of the gravitational pipe network as we use vehicle tracking for road design? Oh, sorry. Uh, in, I'm not sure I understand. In what way test? Uh, uh, I think. Uh, uh, well, if the if the if the user thinks uh, tests like um, are there uh, smaller yeah. diameters downstream than upstream, or uh, is the slope negative, or things like this. Um, these kind of tests are are not currently included. Okay. Uh, they can I, be made, of course, but I think uh, our attendee means uh, to test the flow. Yes. Uh, so so far, no no tests included. I know you, I know what you mean because we specialize in in pipe design tools and and uh, and uh, we have developed. Uh, solutions for for this aut automatic test but uh, within this product so far not uh, but uh, feel free to to contact me uh, with with your question if it's uh, if we understood this correctly uh, so feel free to contact me and, and we'll see you know uh, we are always thinking about the next thing to to add to the software so there you go. You get your first yes. feedback and idea. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. This is it's, it's a new one. <laughs> yeah. Great. You know that's why night webinars. You know they, you know they can bring new ideas um, for developers. Okay. Is it possible to export to export to IFC? Uh, so no. <laughs> Again, we don't make it. Uh, you have only what uh, Civil 3D has so far. Uh, and again, I must say, I know exactly what you mean because we have done it in in, in other software, but uh, within this plugin, it's it's not not possible currently. Okay. So I'm afraid. Not yet. <laughs> not not yet. Exactly. Not yet. Okay. And can we import data from Excel as well? And uh, three times the same answer. No, okay. not yet. Uh, again, I know what you mean because again we made it in a different software, but uh, in this, uh, not yet. Uh, and and I do need to clarify. So um, 
we didn't start out to solve every issue possible with pipe design in Civil 3D. We started out, you know, with something that's small, simple to understand. If, if you sit down with this software, uh, within one hour or two hours, you will know it. Uh, you will know how to use it and you will be productive this, in the afternoon, okay? <laughs> so, so uh, this is the idea of this software, not, not, not to make uh, a, a, huge, uh, a huge masterpiece, but, but a, a small um, and, and very handy tool that ev everybody can use uh, without a lot of training, without a lot of uh, customization, without a lot of uh, questions and, and calls to, to, to tech services and, and, you know, help desk emails. Uh, so, we really, uh, you know, kept it on point with just uh, the most important features, renaming, editing, visualizing, managing. Okay, uh, all of these, uh, uh, all of these ideas uh, are very, very welcome. Uh, so uh, please get in touch, and and uh, because we are thinking uh, actually uh, what to do for the for the next update, um, and I will be very glad to hear uh, all all these uh, ideas. Well, that's great because, um, yeah, there, you have already great feedback and uh, the uh, webinar viewers already like the software, but I think they brought up great point and there's always room for mm -hmm. improvement, so it's yes. great to get this kind of feedback. Thank you so much. I'm going to take the screen back and to wrap up our mm -hmm. presentation. Let's see, um, hopefully you can see my screen. Uh, soon and I want to thank you Michael for the great demo okay. and everybody for attending and I want to remind everyone to visit our page at noveg.com where you can find Urbano Visio and Civil 3D and uh, so come visit us. Noveg is the best way to buy design software um, all in one place, one stop shop. And for information on the latest specials and releases, join the Novag Network on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. And next webinar, um, I'm reminding you, it's going to be Manage Massive Point Cloud Data with Vision Lidair. And to rewatch today's webinar or previous one, check out our Novage YouTube and Vimeo channels. Our webinar playlist as webinar for every software taste. Thanks again for joining us today and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.